see, Ronnie, why don't you get in here close and check out what we're dealing with. So this was a, a, an old sucking tub. So we built this back up. We filled it with gravel and we got about four inches of reinforced concrete on here. And so you can see it's real uneven and rough. And this is the perfect instance to go with a mortar bed instead of like a foam tray. Uh, you would have to make it real nice if you're going to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is put a slurry on the existing concrete, which is just like a loose thin set or anything else. It just helps the mortar bed uh, bond bond to the slab. chance to bond with the slurry. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to start working on my screed strips. I'm going to do two, two uh, screeds right here and then one right here and then I'll be able to screed that way. So Ronnie, why don't you go grab some more deck mode. You breathing hard, Ronnie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing I'm gonna do here, well it's not the first thing, well, I've already done a bunch of stuff, but next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna level up my, my line drain with the deck mud. So what I like to do is, uh, is I pack under, under the drain. For one, it gives it a lot of support, and for two, it, it helps level it up. I'm looking at my bubble right now and seeing how much I need to pack under this side. And then even tamp down a little bit, right about there, and then I'll pack down. You see that bubble, Ronnie? You want to get a picture shot of that bubble? The bubble don't lie, man. We got to trust the bubble. That's a Stabilo level, too. No Chinese crap. Don't use it. Don't want it. Don't use it. Well, that's a lie. I probably do use it. I wish I didn't have to, but sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. Try to pack that in. Okay. So I'm gonna take my film now. I got a box screen here. If you don't have any screeds, you should get some. I guess you can use a level too, but this is a three footer, which is an awkward size. I usually have my straight edges, but all my guys take my stuff. Steve, Steve's got my edges. Or maybe they're his edges, I don't even know. The problem with not doing it all the time is your tools end up going every which way, right? Okay, so I'm going to take that. Oh my gosh, look at that. First try. Look at this, Ronnie. Look at this. Am I good or what? Or I'm just lucky. Either one's fine, though. Mm -hmm. Alright. Is it better to be lucky than good? Okay, so I got my first little screed point. I'm actually going to lay that down right there. Give me something to go off of. A little more in there. See, this is the beauty of deck mud. All you jokers out there using like brick mortar and stuff to do this. I hear you guys say pour. You know, people say I poured my pan. You don't pour a tile shower pan. You just don't. You float it. You use deck mud and that's what you do. At least in California, right, Ronnie? Right. And uh, if you don't know anything about Californians, we kind of march to our own beach and do our own thing. And whatever we do, we think it's better than everybody else. Which, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're legends in our own minds, right, Ronnie? Right. Okay, so I got a nice level spot to screed off of here. 
So next thing I'm going to do is, is set up my edge screeds. Make sure I got enough mud up here. And also, before I get a bunch of comments about how I'm not using the right wall board, this is Dent Shield, uh, but this is all going to get waterproofed afterwards. We, we, our waterproofing is going to go on here, even though this is a, a floating floor video. I know some of you guys are going to throw me some comments about I'm doing something wrong here. I shouldn't float right up against wall board, but this is all going to be waterproofed. So we're going to, we're going to use a, a topical waterproofing. What's our slope running? What do we want? Quarter inch per foot. Quarter inch per foot. Okay, so I'm just eyeballing the bubble right now. I'm gonna keep it. In a line drain, you actually, I mean, you could even go a little less than a quarter inch per foot because it's all traveling. It's all it's all got a long distance to go. So I'm gonna get level here. And I got a four foot level, so I want an inch. Oh my gosh, Ronnie. Am I good or what? Come here. You, 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 gotta, you gotta see this. I am just on today. I am money today with my eyeballs. One inch. And look at the bubble. Get the bubble. Get the bubble before I put it down. So the bubble's level. I got zero down here and I got an inch down there. You see it? Yep. Alright. Okay, so... Extend all the way to the wall. Just continue that slope. So I got that. Um, now I got to do this side. So what I can do is I can do a level line across here now and then just slope it down. Because if I'm good, then they'll meet. If I'm bad, it The level don't lie. That's why I had Brandon, uh, Brandon, um, I'll try to get you his link. He, he designed my, my new logo. And then my Tile Coach logo, it's coming out soon. I'll get it out, get it on t-shirts, hats, and all that stuff. But um, it has a, a saying in it, and it's a level. It's got some other stuff, and it says, in the bubble we trust, instead of uh, what's on our money. But um, kind of a cool saying, because the level, that's like what, that's what we go off of. That's our reference. But I guess they have lasers now, right? But um, I still like like levels. I had some comments from somebody who, who told me, you know, you should set up a laser and then you get a laser line and then you mark it. It's like, well, why don't I just throw my mud up and tamp it down with my level? Get the same freaking thing. Okay, so I'm going to take this edge again, box edge. that so I got my screed set up level there pull this off look at that you can imagine trying to do this with foam I mean it would just be a mess I mean I love working with mud it just feels so much better so much less to worry about okay I do love using two inch curdy board for my curbs they make a really nice curb. We were running into issues in our area. You know, here I am saying Californians do it better. But, you know, one of the flaws we have is um, kind of we have a lot of slab on grade foundation. So what the builders do to build curbs, they'll just put a pressure treated two by four down, glue it, and shoot it in with uh, you know what are those things called, Ronnie? With the 22 shells, ram set. Hmm. Shoot it in with a ram set. You know, and then we, we put, we float over that or we put board over that and then waterproof it. You know, usually it's just hot mopped right over it and then we float it. But what happens and if there's moisture in that slab, I mean, it, it makes the wood swell and then it contracts as the humidity goes down. So around here we end up with a lot of cracked curbs. 
And so we've gone to the Curdy board, which has been pretty awesome. I'm really happy with it. And I buy the I buy the, the full sheets of two inch Curdy board, and then I just cut them in my shop, you know, four inches wide or whatever you want them. And you can pre-make a bunch of them. That's pretty slick. This is one, one part of life too where, where it pays to be short. It's about the only time I'm grateful that I'm 5'8 is when I'm getting in a little shower stall. You know, a big guy would be all, you know, Kirk. <laughs> Bumping into everything. Should I fit in this thing? Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet these two points. I should get the same slope, so uh, where'd my uh, mallet go? Tamp down to that screed mark and then just kind of eyeball it here. There. Okay, uh, should be done with this. So check it out, now that I have that set up, um, now all I have to do is fill in the middle and then screed off this way. So I got that point, that point, that point, that's level, that's quarter inch a foot. So, all right, Ronnie, why don't you go grab me some more mud and we'll finish floating this up. So a deck mud, um, you gotta make sure you tamp your mud down good. Give it the strength it needs. I mean, I see some guys that are just beating the heck out of it. I mean, I don't know. I don't really see the point in that. You want to tamp it down firm, but this stuff is strong. You've seen some of my videos that the one where I um, I did the proof of the pre-slope that works. In that one, I tore up part of a, a mud, a deck mud float, and I mean it's solid. I mean it's hard. Maybe not as hard as concrete, but it's it's definitely solid. So now I'm just going off of my little screen points that I have here. Just go gentle. You can just kind of not putting a whole lot of pressure. Just taking a little bit off at a time. So what ends up happening is you know, I end up I end up level uh, this way, but there'll be little ridges going this way for when I'm screeding. So I just take my this is actually a foam float. It's pretty cool. It doesn't dig in. And if you give it that, so you're taking off that little ridge. Just kind of smoothes everything out. Sprinkle, sprinkle, like sugar. I think if you don't know how to do this, you're not a tile guy. Those are fighting words. Can't wait for the comments on that. Again, a bunch of cocky California tile setters think they're better than everybody else with their old school ways. But anyways, okay. Let me grab another bucket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, the foam guys are laughing their asses off at me right now. Oh, yeah, your way's better. Humping around all that heavy mud when you can just lay down foam. Anyways. Again, being small has its advantages. Uh, how tall are you, Ronnie? Five ten. Don't lie. Yeah, five ten. Five ten. <laughs> Put my boots on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five eight and a half, but I got a big head, so. It <laughs> been married for uh, 20 years so my ego is pretty much already already gone it's all good I've accepted my shortcomings 
No pun intended. Yeah, um, my DIYers and handyman type, you know, it would probably good, be good. You could, you could draw a line on there to kind of keep you straight too. You know, take a sharpie and do that. I did my yoga this morning, so I'm feeling pretty good. You tried it at all? Uh -uh. No. <laughs> did you even watch it? Uh-uh. No? You probably watched it, you're like, I'm not doing that crap. <laughs> all that hippie, new age California crap. It works though. Yeah. I can't argue with the results. Okay, so I can do a little little test to see how flat I am. And then you can just pick out any little humps, like there's a little hump right there. I want to get this thing flat, as flat can be. Have you helped Kurt do one of these, Ronnie? Oh yeah. This is what he does, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep, he likes to hit right on the stabilo, right on the level. He hits it? Because <laughs> I bought his stabilos for uh -huh. that's why. As soon as he <laughs> put me up 200 bucks for a two-footer, he'll take a little more. Now I do that too sometimes. Okay, let me work my way out of here now. Think we're gonna make it run? Got a bucket and a half left. That's all we got. Well, we have we have another bag, don't we? Yep. We have we have an emergency bag. You know, it's funny. Some of these these deck floats. If you start running short on mud, start throwing thin set in there, fat mud, <laughs> rocks, whatever you got. That's probably the worst thing. Twenty years in doing tile, I probably haven't had enough deck mud. Had to go back to the shop, probably. I don't know, a couple of times maybe. That looks like it's going to be close. Okay. And when you're using your wood floats, keep them clean. Keep them nice and clean or else it'll start clumping up and dragging the mud. And when you got to start reaching, just use another, another float. It helps so you're not killing yourself. Okay, so now I can work this way. Just need a little more mud there. Since I have a screed right there, I can start working this way.
up enough mud or what Ronnie mm -hmm. Lewis? Calculations work. Oh my gosh. It's like I've done this before. It's been a while. What do you think the last time I floated a pan was Ronnie? Don't even remember huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh I've done it for my my YouTube videos in the shop but actually on a job. I can't even remember. Because Kirk Decided to take vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang it. So, Kirk, I'm going to send you this video. And I'm going to. Th we have you to thank that I'm out here floating. that if you dig in. Do a little, a little sprinkle of sugar and we'll be fine. Dug in a little bit right there. So my little line that I dug in. Just a little sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. A little sprinkle of Magic fairy dust. How's the lighting? You getting good light on there, Ron? So so. So so. Got to get on my production team here. I'm not providing enough light. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, we did good on this mud rod. Nice. It's almost like it's almost like it was made. For it. This was this was just meant to be today. Some days you have good days when everything's just flowing, right, Ron? Yeah. Some days you have days where it's like everything is just just not what you wanted it to be. So this is these transitions are kind of tricky because you got to kind of meet in the middle. So I'm gonna go here. And I'll take my flat trail, get my extra out. Tell them we're shooting a video. Who is it? Josh? Go ahead and take it. Josh. Josh, What's what up, do you buddy? want? I'm trying to float a floor. So it's my fault that you actually have to do something for one. Yeah, I know, man. Come on. Uh, I'm just wrapping up here. What did you want me to do? Uh, head over there. I'll meet you there in uh, about an hour. Okay. Sound good? Uh, not really, but yeah. <laughs> well, what do you want to do? Go home? Uh, I mean, we, we got to work. Yes, we do. I'll see you <laughs> over there. Uh, see you, Josh. See you. Later.
Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Is it? It's past lunchtime, isn't it? Yeah. You probably just wanted to go home, huh? 12 13. We'll be alright. I'll get them set up for tomorrow. Put it on the bubble, put it on the bubble. How'd we do, Ronnie? Do we trust the bubble? Trust the bubble. In the bubble we trust. Gosh dang, I still got it, Ronnie. I still got it. I'll show you guys how to float a wall here pretty soon. Really start some fireworks on, uh, on my comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last thing I do take my finished trowel, knock all the grains of sand down, so it's smooth. Just about to Boom. There it is. 